a big so issue. Okay. You're not going to be able to control the bear. The Cripify is going to work amazingly, but uh, other than that, uh, it might be a bit difficult to keep them in place. They could potentially run away. Look at the, the, uh, the maneuverable heroes that they have. Mekkei, 60% huge damage reduction. And Amar, tanked by the plasma Don't field. Focus, Bangalier. Oh, he gets the stick off. He's fine. The blast won't land in time. Matu can't finish the job either. Amar back under his towers. We have a 5v5 mid lane brawl. Amar, very low on HP. 90 at the moment. Seb's gonna try to heal him up. And Tiger heading down south to go and grab another rune. Marcy picking up two of them. And Senya takes one. Bushwhack is there from Boxy though. Keeps giving chase, but the Dispose chucks the Hoodwink away. And Marcy can keep Tang going up. See, yeah, Boxy doesn't want to keep going. Did have another bushwhack in a couple of seconds, but decides it's not worth the effort. Again, BZM on Batrider. Showing to mid lane with 25-30% uh, HP. Yeah, he's, he's laying it on this Pango, though, forcing Mickey to back yeah. him all the way up as a Dispose catches Yuragi. Does chuck him away. He does have a bear uh, available, but he's not gonna summon it. All the bushwhack misses, Boxy. Unable to finish the job on him. Yeah, that, that, that dispose caught me off guard. It was from his teammate trying to save him. Put him in a, an awkward spot, but in the end it works out. Radiant Saves the lone druid from cleaned. danger. Level two on Boxy. A bit of deja vu as he does scurry himself across towards the Marcy. Mud Golems come out of their camp and say hello. But Tiger. This is four versus four, pretty much. Taiga, Boxy chasing each other. Boxy doesn't have enough mana. Another Scurry available in 10. And who's this good for? Is this good for the Razor in the bottom lane, or is Lone Druid happy with Taiga Drag? Considering attention? how Lone Druid started this lane, I think he's pretty happy about this one. Taiga sent all the way back to his tier one. Boxy is going to deny himself to the tier two, it looks like. Oof. Very close. Oh, Root Bottom. Yeah, can I got another up. one. It disposes him back. Excuse me? Yuragi <laughs> just finds it. Tiger drawing first blood after all of that nonsense in the jungle, chasing each other around. Tiger just comes back into the lane. <laughs> uh, one thing I noticed is usually... All right, I'll hold that thought. Boxy. Yeah, making a play onto BZM. Has the Firefly and the Sticky. Onto Mickey. Boxy now stuck down in the river. Three stacks up on him. And a Firefly over the top of this Hoodwink. I should secure a kill for BZM, but he's dropping low himself. Mickey wants to trade Mickey back. To be careful. He's getting close to it. There we go. The shield crash and the hits here. Yeah, Mickey, watch, watch, watch. he's got it. Has to static link out for the entangling claws from Yuragi. Should be able to secure another kill. Ooh, with a very far, he's got just enough. Slip back under his tier one. The three slippers, man. Too slippery. That's what he's doing with this lone druid. Amar living up to his, his chat wheel line. He doesn't care, he just hits creeps. 24 and 1. Bracer, gloves. Plenty of damage output there. Tiger being turned on by Boxy and Zai. And tangling claws once more from Yuragi finds the bigger kill. Might be able to chase Boxy down here into the tree line too. Careful with the bear, that's 300 gold and XP, but he gets out the resummon. Boxy's still going to hold the lane for Razor a bit. Yeah. Might want to snatch a couple of CS. Swash. Oh, cooldown. BZM had an opportunity, but you see the rotations in from Liquid. Knowing that aggression was coming, bringing two in towards that mid lane, and one of them is Zai, the roaming Razor. <laughs> Not what we usually see, and uh, yeah, <laughs> Zai will get the dip. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he finds it amusing himself. A long walk back down to bottom lane. Dyer's bottom tower Bushwhack is out. Attack. But with the rebound, Marcy, very maneuverable. No way you sticking on her. Yeah, we've looked at bot mid a lot. What's happening up top, Lacoste? You said Amar not caring, hitting the creeps, staying on top of the network. Superman this time around having a bit of a slower start. He is playing against Io Slardar, oh, so that's a bit. 
Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. I'm not opposed to taking the occasional bounty. <laughs> Dyer's Middle Tower is under attack. One. He does have a bit of backup with the rebound. He allows the Marty to jump over the Slardar's head, and Matsumba Man he has got backup from Insane. You're trying to save him with the decrap, but that's not going to work out. OG looking way better here. Amar gets a bash. In the laning stage, and yeah, Amar does die to Mickey while Boxy being hunted by BZM down south. Third went down, the courier follows her into the grave. Well, Mickey made a rotation, and now he wants Taiga. He oh. knows exactly where he is, but good move oh. from Tiger. Mickey should still be able to get the kill. Rebound, Eventually. help, beam. Anyone, I want to come on, let me jump off someone. No platforms to leap off of. Down bottom there, was a bit of a dive under tier one. Serban Yuragi here, joined by BZM. But Matumba Man stacks up those viscous nasal goos. Minus armor along with Boxy and Zai doing a lot of physical damage. BZM moves to travel. We'll look to try and TP home or just Dyer's cut into the trees to the distance while Zai with an A bomb on him. He gets taken out by the entangling claws and BZM with a lasso drags Matsu back into the firefly. Kills back in for round two. Mickey. Mickey just misses out on the kill on the bat. Now he's tangled up as well. She'll crash over the bear. Another to try and get ready, but the entangling, the entangling claws just keep him locked in place. Now the rebound in from Tiger. Aim towards his senior. OG just running the rough shot over his bottom lane. A triple for BZM. Give him another one. Insania in so much danger. Yuragi claims a double. Even have a name for a spirit bear. Usually, spirit bear uh, oh. like uh, El Doge. Yeah, yeah, El Doge and uh, what, 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 what's, what's the other one? Someone else has a different uh, nickname for the bear. So that's gonna be Mask of Madness done on Yoragi. I can't even finish my sentence. Also, Zai still thinks he's playing Vengeful Spirit with Axe from the previous game. How many deaths does he have? It's just not the case. Oh, four. One, I don't four, know. Two. I, I feel like he. Gaben loves Slaughter. Slaughter Lone Druid is super good combo. We me we mentioned something uh, at the start of the game, having this tethered Lone Druid with sidekick. I mean, I'm on. They wanted him real bad. Real okay. He's coming in from OG. Sam with BZM. Rebounding forward. Tiger aiming towards side. 550 move speed on Batrider. Incredibly speedy. No right. mana. He didn't have mana for Lasso. Used one sticking up bomb charge. Couldn't get it. Couldn't quite catch up to them in time. And he's going for that Witch Blade again. This time much, much faster as they return mid lane. Insania stuck under his tier one. Flame break on top of that decrap. And the poor Pudna taken out even behind his structure. While Tiger is picked off by Zai. So a little closer to that hand of Midas. While Boxy bushwhacks sharpshooters into BZM. But the Batrider had so many one charges. He's back to full. CP attacked. Cancel by the lasso as well. BZM having a really good time on Batrider. Completely different than what happened in the previous game. And uh, oh, this might guys. be another one. Straight on to Matsu. You're not, you're not that tanky, mate. That's just bounce. Die, our scan.
<laughs> honestly, I'm really impressed. Honestly, I'm really impressed. <laughs> Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Radiance top tower is under attack. Radiance there. Gonna get scouted by Mickey. I don't think it's the easiest kill, but he's out of mana, so won't have ultimate. Not as tanky as maybe he'd want, but he's taken out the tree. Radiance the bushwhack doesn't land, but the swashbuckle will. Mickey gonna get jumped on by a bar now, though. Chain stunned into oblivion. That was a good play from Yoragi, cutting down that tree, so Bushwhack doesn't connect, uh, still BZM, gotta clean up, uh, Batrider holds pretty problematic. You can't flush the toilet if it's gold, yeah. can you? Yeah, it's a golden toilet, and uh, yeah, Amar, pretty, pretty farm in this one. We'll not talk about the showers, though. No, uh, Slardar, Mask of Madness, Blink Dagger, Relocate. Batrider with the boots of travel. I don't think you can play the side lanes. Like you, you try to go for some kind of a split push. Uh, it's gonna be a huge issue for you. Be Matu this time around completely shut down. He's in the middle of the pack. Uh, so is Pangolier. Like look at his first item. 16 minutes in, the fuse will play done. Yeah, and there you go. Straight on to Matu. He's got Vanguard, but no hood, so no safety against the magic damage that BZM brings. Wonders. Continuing his streak and sitting ten and a half thousand net worth on the bat rider now. Seb finishing off the mech, so even more sustain and the ability to keep these fun wants in on the action. This I can do it, I can I. He's almost as farmed as I in this game. <laughs> yeah, what is he like eight hundred behind? So <laughs> Can they get something out of this? They have no stun, so a bit difficult. Oh, straight in on them. They've got the life drain to heal up the Bristleback and a, a nice sharpshooter, but an even nicer relocate. Saves Tiger while BZM dives again on Tomasu. It's all smoke. They might mirrors. call it. I, I would not be surprised if they just called the game. It's such a beautiful back and forth where OG tank a bit of damage with this hero, jump back. In, like, one second. Yeah. If he keeps attacking, it's a guaranteed route, and uh, he's uh, he's bringing something to career. Zai. Trying to find what it is. Uh, it's oh. a shard, so the spell mechanic. The are going to turn. Is under attack. Mickey. A little bit of sloppiness there around the crystals, bouncing around, but still killing off Amar. Easy Amber Tiger. Rebounding towards Zai. Unleash comes out as well. Sidekick there on the bear. Tiger, very low HP, hiding behind the tree, found by my tongue man's cool sprays. Liquid. Right, Liquid's chasing. On the move ZM thinking about going in. Does have Lasso ready in two seconds. So afraid. So afraid. And this is why BZM, incredible amount of damage with the Witchblade, has the shard too. Wow, oh, Insania, life drink back, the two-man bushwhack, bear coming forward with the savage roar, sends them packing, Liquid on the retreat out now, they decrypt the bear, stopping him from doing any damage for a few seconds, but now he opens up, looks towards the top of man, and bristle back, dead in his own triangle, Is there even relocating oh, forward, they want Zai now! And Io has, Io can be tethered to pretty much any hero. Laundrons. It's kind of cool seeing this next step of this of this kind of strategy, yeah. right? We saw LGD, uh, Riyadh Masters, pull out the Lone Druid Marcion. We got caught Radiant completely off guard by it. Yeah. And now it's add an Io, add a Slardar. Even after the nerves, BZM's... And also you can attack during the Flame Glass, so that, that's why he disappeared in that fight. Yeah. yeah I, I guess if you've got Witchblade, why not? 
Liquid want to try and break out of their base. Maybe find a big kill on Yuragi or Amar. And Mickey is considering the Rolling Thunder. Aiming Seb. Diffuser Blade slow. Bushwhack comes and the IO will get blown up. Roshan respawning in just a couple of seconds. But Liquid on the runaway now as BZM comes into play. Mickey, look at how quickly he loses his HP. He gets soloed out by the Bat Rider. BZM just wanders in, barely does anything, gets a double kill. He's seen he's going to be the triple kill. Amar diving tier three for the finish. And only one hero remains on the map for Liquid. Bristleback, Matu hiding, cowering down bottom lane. <laughs> I mean, BZM with this uh, build, I, I didn't think he, yeah. he's going for Moonshard. Matu, let's see what he can do. Lasso still available, and he's gonna go for it. Keep attacking him, he disappears. That's a solo kill. 23, 2, and 13. Co compare this Batrider game to game one, a completely different beast. He's involved in 36 out of 42 kills. In doing math uh, on stream live chat, will excuse me, chat knows how hard it is. And uh, yeah, while I'm talking, tier 3 tower already gone. Oh yeah, BZM back in onto Mickey. Down he goes, ticking lower and lower. The BQB for the Batrider comes. Mickey will roll in thunder back to Fountain just to try and keep himself alive while BZM finishes off Boxy and Zai's Razor. And Zio. And Zio tethers up onto BZM's back. Mika has to swashbuckle again to defensive usage out of all these spells and still dies. I think this is it, Gary. I think it's time to call it. Uh, yeah, Matu like didn't it. get a chance to play the game and they will call it. GG called. OG tying things up. One to one here up against Team Liquid. Oh, this was an absolutely beautiful performance out of BZM, really showing that you know, 